And I would argue that all three arguments here are in a way correct. So you could argue that randomization is more powerful than determinism. Of course, we don't know why, and we don't know if that is so, but it could be a valid reason that somehow randomization is a bit more effective. But I think you could argue that randomization is in a way, or that randomization could in a way, be a bit more effective than determinism. After all, you're not really saying how much more effective, but maybe you gain a little edge through trying randomization. Of course, it could also be that simply no one has had the right idea yet how to design a really, really good deterministic algorithm for 3SAT. Of course, the length of the table that I've just shown you suggests that people have put a lot of thought into this, but maybe tomorrow somebody comes up with a really good idea for a comparably fast exponential time algorithm for 3SAT. And finally, I think this is also an important point. It could be that analyzing deterministic algorithms is just way more complex than analyzing the randomized ones. The three SAT algorithm, the randomized one that I've shown you with a running time of 1.334 to the power of n times some polynomial, is very, very simple. And its analysis is also not that complicated. For the deterministic algorithms, however, you have to go through a lot and lot and lot of analysis to prove those bounds. So it could be that you could modify some deterministic algorithm to be better than the randomized one, but simply the analysis required to do so is much more complex. And by analysis, I really mean that you don't really have to modify the algorithm that much, but just look at its performance a little more closely. So there are a couple of reasons why the randomized three-set algorithms could be better than the deterministic ones, but of course, we don't know for sure.